Hi, friends. Okay, there's one of those big mosquitoes in here. Oh, and there's another one right there. And that's because our door is broken. You see it? <laughs> we have two zippers and a safety pin holding it up in three places. This door is fine. This one zips up. I made Kyle sleep over there because he fiddled with it and that's when it stops working. It's not my fault. I know, I don't think it's you. your fault, but you did break it. Uh. <laughs> With it. Yeah. We're getting mom's pie today. <laughs> Mile 77. Mile 77. <laughs> packing up his bag, all the empty water bottles. He said he would be ready in 30 seconds, and it's already been 20. He's got 10 seconds to be it's ready. It's been 10 seconds. Well, it's been 15 seconds on my phone, and it took me like 10 seconds to get. My video started. Oh, it's, oh, it's 20 seconds now. Well, don't do this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously doesn't want mom's pie that badly. He's taking forever. Meanwhile, I am packed up and ready to go. Here's one of those agave asparagus looking things up close. Oh, the sun's right there. Look at it. It's taller than me. It's gotta be at least like seven or eight feet tall. It's a little bit different of a cactus, but it's still a really pretty pink bloom. That's one. I think that's Julian. Look at the sun. Oof, it's hot. Bless you. Thank you. A mile and a half, a mile point six. This is a pretty nice trail. Uh, but it's There's quails up there. You see them? They're like the cartoon quails that have uh, the little thing on their head. I don't know if you guys ever watch Bugs Bunny and then the quail like is always blowing that little thing over his head so it's not in his face. I don't know where they went now. Oh, they're way over there. They are. They're just hiking with us. So I have like an eighth of a liter of water for like three miles. But Kyle just told me that there's a water cache at Scissors Crossing. So hopefully I can fill up there just a little bit before we hitch into town. All right, so these were the mountains we were in. You can kind of see the trail, I feel like, the lines. But I don't know which line it is. This is a very flat section of the trail. There's more of those asparagus things. We got a ride. So we didn't even make it to Scissors Crossing yet. Um, they picked us up right at the junction for the RV. Um, stagecoach. Stagecoach road, I guess. Okay. We're getting a ride from Rangel the Trail Angel. His name is Raymond the Trail Angel. We're at Mom's. Look, they're making fresh pies. Yeah. Apparently, there's going to be a line, and there's already one starting. Yeah, I'm going to get mine. <laughs> there's the mom and the kids. So, we got a lot of good advice from Trangel. I think Kyle's going to get some new shoes because his are really narrow, apparently. We are super dirty still, but we can't check into the hotel. Until later. I've been yeah, dreaming of this. Yeah. Look at all the pie choices. Alright, so moms, if you stop there, they give you a free slice of pie, free ice cream or whipped cream, which they have cinnamon ice cream, which was recommended, and a free drink. So we did the Julian cider, or you could do tea or coffee. So, pretty great deal for hikers. I actually wanted to pay for something, but that's all I wanted. So, it's hard to... So, I tipped them. Yum. Kyle, how excited are you? <laughs> Can I eat it yet? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Carrying this stuff? Sure. We stopped at Two Foot Adventures. It's 
the PCT gear shop. Kyle got some new shoes he's real excited about. Look at his face. <laughs> we got a couple other things. I got some liner socks. Got some soap. Got some repair tape for our tent because I think there's some holes in it and it hasn't rained yet, so we'll be able to find them and plug them. And Kyle Bowl shoes. So Julian is adorable. They have so many cute shops and everything looks super delicious to eat. We're staying at the Julian Lodge. Like this is just such a cute place to, to come and hang out for a little bit and rest your feet. Um, we're gonna go to the brewery for a early dinner, I think. Sounds like they have some good food. So random. We're in a shop in Julian. And look at stuff from Door County, Wisconsin, Sturgeon Bay. Why? Why is this here? Look, and there's so much of it. Look, it's over there. So random. This is very funny because they have a lot of pie here. And that's Pie Life. And it looks like the High Life logo, very Wisconsin. All right, so we were able to check into our hotel and we took a shower. Look at, we look great. And so now we're- so clean, clean. Yeah, now we're at a brewery and we got some appetizers. Some Californian beer cheese. Uh, it's not as good as Wisconsin. It's good though, not I wouldn't, same. I'm not naughty. <laughs> we're being beer cheese snobs. Look at this huge snake skin. Oh look, he's sleeping. I'm not gonna raise my <laughs> hand. Don't raise your hand. Natalie, you gotta don't raise it. Don't say why. Just don't raise it. Oh yeah. Where is it? Why can't I say why? I only have like one excuse for why. I have a pack with my college friends. We're all gonna meet and. I didn't realize everyone left me. In Wichita, Kansas. This is Kyle's Because it's about like. So this is a post edit um, edition, I guess. So the reason that we were able to get to know the hikers that we were with, which was super fun by the way, um, was because a couple of guys who we were leapfrogging, somebody in town just randomly gave them some money and they were going back to trail. So they in turn gave us the money because they weren't gonna spend it. And Kyle and I didn't feel right spending it on ourselves. We actually bought pizzas for hikers that were at the Julian uh, brew house. And some of the hikers actually flagged Kyle down. It was kind of funny because um, he had a hiker look to him. So we had decided then after that night that um, any support that we get, we want to give back to the trail in that way. So either buying you know, food or drinks uh, for other hikers or donating to trail angels, um, et cetera, because we prepared for this financially, so we don't really need any support. But I know that some people want to be involved so um, just as an option, we do have a, a Patreon, which I've been putting at the end of every video, and that in, is in no way asking for money or support or anything. Um, it's mostly just for people who, you know, give back to the trail and do trail magic from afar. So I know I haven't really talked about the Patreon uh, before this, so I wanted to add this to this clip, and I, I also have it in the description of this video and on our Patreon account. Um, I'm hoping to also kind of tag or call out when donations are, are being spent on what. And I think that'll be kind of a fun way to um, thank supporters. <laughs>